वेलकम टू ऑल माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर देशमुख एम एस गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द लेक्चर्स ऑन सब्जेक्ट दैट इज डायनामिक ऑपरचुनरी हैविंग यूनिट नंबर वन दैट इज सिंगल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सिस्टम्स विथ फ्री वाइब्रेशन हैविंग द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ वाइब्रेशन लुक एट दिस दिस इज अ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द वाइब्रेशन न बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी हैव टू सीन वट इज मीन बाई वाइब्रेशन इनिशियली it is a mechanical phenomena uh, which occurs the oscillations about their equilibrium conditions now with the animation that we have seen that uh, once mass is there and uh, which is attached to the spring having the moment in uh, upward and downward moment with some application of forces now look at here o is the point where it is the initial conditions and uh, upward extreme point that is a and uh, at the downward condition that is extreme point minus a okay these are the two positions means what after the initial application of uh, force or initial displacement the body get oscillate about their main position or the equilibrium point that known is what the vibrations again second concept that is damping uh, so what actually the damping is here the resistance to the motions of vibrating body that is known as what the damping uh, look at here with uh, the uh, figures that seen that some animations one piston is there one cylinder is there and uh, which carry some fluid so again this is the type of the viscous damping so when we applying a particular force over the fluid over the pistons the viscous fluid create the resistance to the motion means what it create the resistance to the motion of this particular uh, vibrating uh, bodies and some uh, sketch form that we are seeing here uh, the spring generated by k having the damper c uh, mass m uh, with some packages and we are applying particular force ft in downward directions so again that viscous force creating the resistance so again it is damping now types of damping uh, depends upon some factors and the first that is the drive uh, frictions or the coulomb damping so in this case the damping force is constant uh, in magnitude also and the opposing the motion and directions so in the drive frictions or the coulomb damping means what there is a negligible amount of the uh, viscous force is exist under that situations that is known as what the uh, free uh, we can say the Uh, free from the viscous force that is the dry frictions so again second that is viscous damping now in this case so whatever the damping force is there that is directly proportional to the velocity of vibration so means what velocity of vibration is depends upon what kind of damping force that we are applying now third one that is structural damping this is a type of damping it is a solely due to the internal uh, frictions of the molecules so it's a micro level and uh, this is a solely due to the internal frictions exist between the uh, different number of molecules again fourth one that is a slip or interstitial uh, damping so what exactly here the energy of vibration is dissipated by means of the microscopic slip on the interfaces of the different parts which are in contact and having some fluctuating loads so in this case that is the uh, the different parts which are under the fluctuating loads is dissipate the some energy and this damping is known as what the uh, slip or interfacing damping now some damping systems are there uh, what are that that is first one uh, over damp so what is the odam conditions the system returns to equilibrium without the oscillation means what uh, it goes to equilibrium without oscillations so it again comes to the equilibrium conditions now second one that is critically damp the system returns to equilibrium quickly as possible without oscillating now first condition that is odam means what the equilibrium bridge without oscillation second it goes quickly returns without oscillations now third one that is under uh, damp system so in this case as compared to the frequency to undamp 
the amplitude gradually decreases to the zero means what the oscillations has grown uh, with some particular forces but after releasing the particular forces it having falls down with degradation of amplitude and at the last it will goes to zero now again undamped situations so the system oscillate with its natural resonance frequency means what there is no uh, resistance is provided under that situations it is known as what damping systems uh, now see the whatever we seen uh, located with the graphs this is the time versus the displacement uh, some graphical uh, natures will be seen for different systems now strong damping is there uh, which shows some degradations critical damp it quick to equilibrium conditions undamped situations it having the no effect of the uh, what are the forces or applying on it now again the third that is uh, the frequency so what is the frequency here uh, it, it's quite easier it is the number of oscillations per unit time that is known as what frequency again uh, one more term that is a natural frequency the frequency of free vibrations is known as what natural frequency now what, what again the uh, the uh, free vibrations the the vibration which occurs without applying any external forces and that vibration is known as what the free vibrations and the whatever the frequency that occur during these free vibrations that is called as what a natural frequency and it will be seen some figures here so mass m is there k frequency k now that stiffness k when applying particular forces not for applying particular forces we are just giving some initial displacement the body it vibrate about their equilibrium conditions and what are the oscillations per unit time that is known as what frequency now on some uh, differential equation of the spring mass systems uh, having three figures figure number a b and c uh, let's consider the spring mass systems and uh, having this some vertical moment mass at first a condition there is a only spring is present in the second conditions that is a b mass m is applying that's why the forces is mg in downward directions and in figure number c that is a, it will be get def, uh, deflect by means of some uh, initial moment and uh, having particular force f is equal to minus k into x plus x0 now x at the initial conditions that is x0 and x is what initial moment so uh, that we can say forces a displacement and k is the stiffness that everybody is known now applying the d elmer's principle uh, some uh, the free body diagram that we are being here uh, look at here the mg is in downward directions in upward direction that is kx and whatever the inertia force is which is always towards initial position that is in upward directions that's the mx double dot so what actually the real number principle summation of all forces acting on the system that is equal to zero that is inertia force plus external forces that is equal to zero inertia force that is mx double dot plus kx that is equal to zero now we have to calculate the omega n omega n is equal to under root of k by m that is the natural frequency k is stiffness of the spring m is the mass now what are the causes and uh, what are the uh, technique to reductions of the vibrations now first that is the causes of vibrations so the first condition is what first cause that is the the because of the unbalanced forces and the couples acting on the system body get vibrate now second that is external excitation forces when we are applying some external forces on the system body get distracted and it causes some vibrations again third that is dry frictions when our system is there there is a moment and having the some contact uh, with some lubrications but the uh, lubrication is not provided between them under these situations the dry frictions create the vibrations again wind forces everybody is uh, suffering from uh, the these uh, natural uh, terms that is wind forces acting on any particular system it get vibrates now there is again one more the natural uh, that is uh, the Uh, the incident that is an earthquake because of the earthquake again the whole systems uh, on the earth will vibrates now these are the causes now again uh, what are the um, the things to be there in order to reduce the vibrations that is first one what are the unbalanced forces and the couples is there you have to remove or the balance 
okay second that is a vibration oscillators if there is foundation is there and the machines in between these two whatever the uh, forces acting on this foundations that we have to oscillate from the machines by means of the vibrations oscillators again third one that is a sound proof screens or the class so it is again great the reductions to the vibrations again uh, the the last one that is shock absorber that we have to seen in the two wheeler four wheeler also so again Mm, these are the the causes and uh, the reductions of the vibrations it's quite easier this is being termed which is related to the vibrations now the advantages and disadvantages of vibrations where it is desirable or the advantages and where it is undesirable that is the disadvantages so advantages is first there is the all musical systems so wherever there is the exist of the musical systems there is uh, the uh, forces acting on the any particular instrument pianos are there and uh, the it creates the some uh, the sound uh, the vibrations now second are the vibrations screens and shakers or the conveyors so again this is uh, the related to the uh, mechanical or can say civil structures and again third one that is a uh, stress relieving instruments it again create the vibrations and it will be uh, some relief uh, in the body again what are the some disadvantages are there the excessive stress is develop then again second loosening of the assembly of the parts when we are tighten the bolts at the initial but uh, the vibrations cause the loosen this bolt nut bolt systems so again loosening of assembly parts third one that is failure of the machine's part the some excessive uh, the vibrations will cause the failure of the machine's part and it create the undesirable noise so this is again this advantages that's why we are having to reduce the vibrations so this is all about your the sections that is the introduction to the vibration or we can say fundamentals to vibrations so